Why did the North lose more soldiers than the South? Given that there was more Northern soldiers, that means they could have stopped their soldiers from getting shot as much as the Confederates by simply firing more. Did the South just have better soldiers? The North did indeed have more soldiers than the South during the American Civil War. But there were several reasons why the North suffered more casualties. One reason was that the North was fighting a war on two fronts, against the Confederate Army and also against Confederate guerrilla forces and irregular units that operated behind Northern lines. These Confederate units often targeted Northern supply lines, communication networks, and other strategic targets, and they made it difficult for the North to maintain control and security in the Confederate-held turret Reed occupied. Another reason was the difference in tactics and strategy used by the two sides. The Confederate Army, which was often outnumbered, relied on tactics such as hit-and-run raids, ambushes, and surprise attacks, which could be highly effective against a larger, more unwieldy force. The Union Army, on the other hand, often engage in large-scale battles and assaults, which were more costly in terms of casualties. Additionally, the North's advantage in manpower and resources was offset by the South's advantages in terrain and geography. The South had a more favorable landscape for defensive warfare, with many forests, hills, and rivers that provided natural obstacles and made it more difficult for the Union Army to advance. It's also worth noting that the quality of the soldiers on both sides was high, and both the Union and Confederate armies had their own strengths and weaknesses. The outcome of battles often depended on a variety of factors, including the leadership and strategy of the commanders, the state of the troops, and the conditions on the ground. Ultimately, the North's victory in the Civil War came at a high cost in terms of casualties, but it was a critical moment in American history that helped to abolish slavery and to preserve the unity of the nation. Can Abraham Lincoln really say that he was against forced labor when he used conscription himself and allowed a prison loophole in the 13th Amendment? Abraham Lincoln's views and actions regarding forced labor and conscription during the Civil War were complex and evolved over time. It is true that during the Civil War, Lincoln authorized the use of conscription, or the draft, to recruit soldiers for the Union Army. This was a controversial move, as many Northerners opposed the idea of being forced to serve in the military. However, Lincoln and other Union leaders saw conscription as a necessary measure to sustain the war effort and to provide enough troops to defeat the Confederacy. With regard to the 13th Amendment to the Constitution, which abolished slavery, it is also true that there was a loophole that allowed for involuntary servitude as punishment for a crime. This provision was included in the amendment to allay the concerns of some southern states and lawmakers who were worried that abolition of slavery would lead to the release of all prisoners. The provision was used to justify the continuation of forced labor and other forms of exploitation and abuse for many years after the end of the Civil War. It's important to understand that Lincoln, like many political leaders of his time, operated within the constraints of the political and social realities of the era. He was a complex figure who held a range of views and acted on a range of motivations, some of which were contradictory. While he is widely celebrated for his role in preserving the Union and for his speeches and writings on the importance of freedom and equality, he was not perfect and his actions did not always align with his stated principles. Nevertheless, his legacy as one of America's greatest presidents remains intact, and his leadership during the Civil War helped to shape 